Confined Space Rescue, CSR, course. Confined Space Rescue is a critical skill for emergency responders. This training course will provide the knowledge and hands-on practice needed to safely and effectively conduct rescues in hazardous, enclosed environments. Course Overview 1. Comprehensive Program This course provides comprehensive training on proper procedures, techniques, and equipment for safely rescuing individuals from confined spaces and hands-on experience for emergency response. 2. Target Audience this course is crucial for individuals working in industries where confined space work is common, such as construction, manufacturing, utilities, and petrochemical facilities. 3. Accreditations Conducted in accordance with OSHA, Occupational Safety and Health Administration, Guidelines Hazards and Dangers in Confined Spaces Oxygen Deficiency Lack of oxygen can quickly become life-threatening in a confined space. Toxic gases. Dangerous fumes and gases can build up and poison the air. Engulfment risks. Materials like sand, grain, or liquids can suddenly envelop and trap a worker. Mechanical hazards. Confined spaces may contain moving parts, electrical shocks, or other physical dangers. Characteristics of confined spaces Limited openings Confined spaces have small, restricted entrances and exits that can impede access and escape. Poor ventilation Lack of airflow allows hazardous atmospheres to easily accumulate. Unusual shapes Irregular, complex geometry can create challenges for rescuers and complicate operations. Safe Operating Procedures 1. Preliminary Assessment Carefully evaluate the confined space, identify hazards, and develop a safe plan of action. 2. Ventilation and Monitoring Use mechanical ventilation and atmospheric testing to ensure a safe, breathable environment. 3. Specialized Equipment Employ proper personal protective equipment, PPE, and rescue gear designed for confined spaces. Duties of support personnel. Entrant monitoring. Continuously track the status and well-being of the rescuers inside the confined space. Equipment management. Ensure all rescue tools, PPE, and communication devices are properly maintained and accessible. Emergency coordination. Initiate emergency procedures and activate additional resources if needed. Documentation Keep detailed records of the confined space entry, activities, and any incidents. Permit to work system Hazard identification Thoroughly assess and document all potential risks. Authorization Obtain necessary approvals from supervisors before entry. Coordination. Ensure clear communication between all involved personnel. Competency. Confirm rescuers are properly trained and equipped. Practical confined space rescue. Access and entry. Safely reach and enter the confined space using the appropriate techniques. Casualty retrieval. Carefully extricate the victim while maintaining their stability and health. Decontamination Properly clean and decontaminate the victim and rescuers post-incident. Emergency procedures Rapid rescue Quickly retrieve victims in immediately dangerous situations. Self-rescue Train workers to self-extricate when possible to avoid further endangerment. Vertical extraction. Use specialized equipment and techniques for rescuing victims in vertical spaces. Incident management. Coordinate the overall response, emergency services, and post-incident procedures. Respiratory protection equipment. Donning and doffing. Proper techniques for putting on and taking off SCBA or SAS equipment. Normal operation. 
using respiratory protection safely during routine work in confined spaces. Emergency Procedures Employing SCBA-SAS for evacuation and rescue in hazardous atmospheres. Course Curriculum Purpose of Confined Space Entry Rescue Hazards and Dangers Associated with Confined Spaces Characteristics of Confined Space Safe Operating Procedures in Confined Spaces Duties of the Support Personnel for Confined Spaces Understand the Permit to Work System, PTW Practical Confined Space Entry Slash Rescue, Horizontal and Vertical Emergency procedures and rescue of personnel in confined spaces. Inspection, donning, doffing, and use of self-contained breathing apparatus, SCBA, or supplied air system, SAS, in normal operation and in emergency rescue conditions. Practical use of SCBA, EEBD, airline cascade loop system. Practical use of automatic resuscitator and AED. Contact us for more information, you can call us. Email us or go through our website and visit us at this address.